So you might be wanting to go ahead and connect your PlayStation 5 controller to your Android phone so you can go and play Call of Duty Mobile. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your settings of your Android phone, and you want to make your way over to your Bluetooth settings. So go ahead and find the Bluetooth settings under Connected Devices here. You then want to go and click on Pair New Device. And all you want to do is go and set it down for a second. While we make our way over to our PlayStation 5 controller, we want to hold down two buttons, the PlayStation button right here and the Share button that's on the top left. So hold down both these buttons and you'll see the blue lights around that PlayStation 5 digital thing at the top start blinking. And you will also see a wireless controller come up on your Android phone. So all you're going to want to do now is go and click on the wireless controller right here. And if you have more than one, you may want to figure out which one it is. You want to go and click pair. And that's going to allow you to basically pair up your wireless controller to your Android phone. And if you move around this specific joystick on your controller, you should be able to see it move on your Android phone. So now what you want to do is you want to make your way over to Call of Duty Mobile, the specific game that we were playing a second ago. And now you will see most of the time you'll get a little pop-up that should already say the Android system cannot detect your controller type. Please choose which one it is. So then you can go and figure out which one it is from there. And then from there you can click OK. So now what you'll be able to do for the most part on your specific controller is if you want, you can go and make your way over to your settings of your Android phone, not of your Android phone of Call of Duty Mobile. You should be able to go down to controller, which is right here. And you should be able to see that the controller is now detected on your specific phone. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. So now if you want, you can basically study these specific positions. You can make sure you're using the same type of keys that map up to whichever one you're going to do. Under settings, you should be able to go ahead and see a lot more options here. You can go and figure out your controller type, which we just signified, which was a PlayStation 5 controller. And you can go and kind of figure out from here whichever type of controller or what type of you know other things you want to go and set up here. And then whenever you're done, you can go and hop out of here. You can go and click on multiplayer, for example. You can go and start up a game. And you should be able to use your controller now with your specific game. And that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. But importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.